He finishes a new book every month, insists it's given him the edge in his career, and Deboho was only too happy to spread the word when we met him on his home range. At the age of just 30 years old, Deboho Ditsekho has achieved much more than most of us could even dream about. He's the founder of Africa's largest online book club, and he also earned himself a spot on the prestigious list of four magazines top 30 African entrepreneurs under 30. So, is this how successful businessmen roll? Yes, I think um, it's quite nice staying in a golf estate um, because there's quite nice facilities. Sometimes I use this card just to get around and get some fresh air. I also play a little bit of golf, but uh, my skills are not yet ready to be put on show. <laughs> now tell me, one thing you are successful at is public relations, journalism. You started at the tender age of 21. What has happened since then? Tell me some of your achievements. Well, we started the business in 2011. Um, it was quite difficult because um, I didn't know the difference between, you know, marketing and selling. And I thought I was good at PR, but I didn't know how to run a business. Before I started the company, I was a freelance journalist and I worked across different agencies. When we started it, it was mostly because we wanted to create opportunities as opposed to looking for opportunities. An article about reading defining a teenager's future success set another project in motion. Why did you decide to start Read a Book? Essentially what we do is we ask young people to read one book a month and then they take a picture of the book and then they upload it on Twitter. And then from there we add it to our favorites list and they start a conversation with some of our other followers. We started it in 2012 and it's now become one of the biggest online book clubs in the world. It's number one in Africa. And we've got 32,400 followers that, that um, have subscribed and we've got over 12,000 books that have been recommended uh, by our followers. Essentially what we want to do is we want to make it cool to read. We actually invented a word, intellectual swag which means that it's cool to be intelligent. So did you have intellectual swag at a young age? What were you like as a kid? Oh, I definitely had intellectual swag as a child. I think um, reading for me was something that empowered me, but also it gave me the edge because I became the go-to person when people want an informed opinion. And I think that's important. That's why we started Read a Book Essay, to empower the youth to become the best that they can be. Tell me about your workshops. Well, it's very important for us who are in the industry to share our experiences with younger people. There are certain things that you cannot learn through theory, although I think theory is very important. Um, so we do these skills development workshops in order to teach young people about the trends, um, teach them what we're looking for as business owners, um, also teach them some of the secrets that will help them to um, progress in their respective careers. Reading is such a personal one-on-one -on -one experience with a subject or idea that it teaches one how to think. It's the best possible reason for Deboho's mission to increase the percentage of South Africans who read books for leisure. It's a practice that his mother, Elsie Ditejo, began before he had even drawn his first breath. So Mrs. Ditejo, I believe that you are the lady we have to thank for the brilliant mind that is your son, because you read to him even before he was born. I used to read for Deboho because I used to take short courses when uh, I was uh, during my prenatal days. And then afterwards, when Deboho was born, I kept on reading books for him until he was age five, when he was ready to go to school. He used everything around him to make him what he is today. Do you think that we need to overcome stereotypes and what it means to be a bookworm? I think we do have to overcome that and through our initiative, um, that's exactly what we're trying to do. We know that um, there are a lot of people who are termed nerds or bookworms. We actually think that it's very cool for you to be a reader because you can end up becoming successful in your career. And I'm assuming that you're more than just a bookworm now as an adult. Another thing I do is martial arts. Um, so it helps me in the morning. I usually start my mornings early and I do some martial arts. Um, it helps me to lose weight, stay in shape. Um, it also helps me to stay focused and it motivates me in the mornings. In August, he'll be a VIP speaker at the New York Africa Forum. And this is a way he prepares. This is what you're used to. This is your world. You enjoy this kind of thing? Well, martial arts really helps me in business in terms of um, enabling me to focus and staying calm under pressure. That's exactly what martial arts does. It helps us stay calm under pressure. And uh, we always want to make sure that we keep our wits about us. And uh, a lot of what I've got to show you tonight will teach you to do just that in a pressurized situation. There is a gun behind you. Don't worry. It's fake. Uh, grab it. Let's get going. OK. So first thing that we're going to do is Gun comes up at you, it's at your head. First thing you gotta do is stay calm. Why? Gun up. So if we panic and we scare our attacker, he's gonna shoot us. Yeah. So first thing we gotta do is stay calm. We're not being aggressive. 
What I want to do is I'm going to work to move the gun out the way so that when the gun goes off, and it probably will, it's going to go off past me. Second thing I'm going to do is get to the top of the gun to create a control. I'm going to work with a pull and a push, and I'm going to disarm as I disengage, and I'm going to control my attacker. Okay, I want to try this. I want to try this. By are all you, means. Are you going to point Come at me? Oh, you are you going to point at Okay, so we'll okay. You're going to... You're gonna be okay, my now remember, aggressor. Let's get a little bit closer. Okay. There we go. Okay, so the gun comes up. There we go. We don't panic. We move our gun out the way. Good. Ooh. Okay, now, great stuff. We just gotta work on those basics. Okay, okay. Make sure it works quicker, out. Okay, quicker. Okay, so. Gun comes up. Good. Don't panic. There you go. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's a good getting one. better. Don't you? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna go Thank nice. You. you can try. Okay. okay. All right, not too far away. Let's get a little bit closer. Okay, what else? But what if I come at you with a knife and not a gun? I will show you with pleasure. I got a knife. We're going to work with a straight stab attack and how to get out of it. You stab at me here. Yeah. I'm going to hollow my body. I'm going to cover. I'm going to rotate. I'm going to cut in. I'm going to disarm. Okay. Wow. So, we can do it this any which way you want. Yeah, well, it it's actually not a magic trick. Stab here. Cool. We're just going to make sure we're out the way. We're going to hollow our bodies. We're going to cover. We're going to disarm. We're going to cut. And out we go. All right, Rox, you want to give it a go? Okay. Um, Here we go. Sorry, I have to stab you now. You <laughs> okay, so tips, what you're going to do is you're going to hollow your body out. You're going to okay. scissor your hands, scissor them like this. Scissor them? Okay. Yep. So. There you go. So Rox stabs in. You're going to scissor this way around. That so way. this hand's going to come in here, ah, like and you're going to lock over the arm. Cross it over. Well yeah. done. Yeah. Right. That was We're impressive. <laughs> Thank you so much. I feel like I learned a really valuable skill there. And I've learned so much from you today, especially your motto, that one I loved. And that is? To get what you've never had, you need to do what you've never done. Love it. Okay. Good night, gents. Like this? Thank you. Mm -hmm.